I've been talking about it for years, these companies that take advantage of small streamers because they don't know any better. There's this PC building company called Artesian Builds and they work with a lot of big creators and they've been doing this thing with their ambassador program, the predatory part, where you get a bunch of small streamers to promote your brand for free with hopes that they might be able to win a PC. Well, when one small streamer won, this is what the CEO of Artesian Builds had to say. 2K followers is under my threshold. Three days ago is within my threshold. Long streams, which is good. And Artesian Builds, we have panel. Let's see if you have redeeming, redeeming qualities. Well, if he's personally bought tendencies. She. Okay. Would be international. No, no idea who you're. I, I obviously. It gets worse. No, no, not international. America. Cheap shipping. In a tweet from Kia Pia underscore on Twitter, she says, if you haven't heard, Artesian Builds do not care about their small streamer ambassadors. They have monthly PC giveaways for their ambassadors. Great, right? Except they don't care for small streamers. I got chosen and they changed the rules last minute. So apparently this streamer did not have a big enough of a following. So he's like, nah, I don't want to give it to you. I want to give it to someone with a bigger following. In part two, Kia says, you hear this man's voice? He's belittling me. It's slander and defamation of my stream and me as a person. Not necessarily, but it is dickhead move. I won that PC fair and square. The rules say that you need the Artesian panel in your Twitch about, and I do have it. So what's the issue? You see what I'm saying? These companies, they want you to advertise for them. So you have to put a thing on your stream and probably on screen as well. And they don't pay for it. And it's just free advertising with the promise that you might get a PC. But turns out that's a lie because if you're too small, they you won't get one anyways. And they openly brag about it. Let's watch part two. All followers combined still under 5K, even across multiple socials. I was trying to be generous. 5,000 followers across a bunch of platforms is actually pretty good for a small streamer, I'm gonna say. But what blows my mind is just how openly asshole this guy is about the whole situation. He's so smug about it. In part three of this anime saga, she says, the reason, like what? Sorry, not everyone has money for a PC. It's expensive, so condescending. Artesian builds do better. I earned that PC. This makes me feel like I'm not a good streamer. Oh, and there's the re-roll. Here's the reason, chatter babies. Here's the reason. This person has three months of ambassadorship and not a single click. Not, not a single click. Not a single click. Not even once. Purged. This is an ambassador giveaway. So he only wants to give the PC to someone who is able to drive clicks. So that means that nobody is actually eligible if they're a small streamer because small streamers don't get clicks. This is why I think it's so dumb to be predatory of small streamers and just try and have this massive collection of them versus just paying someone bigger to promote your stuff. Hey, Twitter Sphere, I'm really sorry for the way we did parts of the giveaway today. We've given a lot of people a lot of awesome free tech and that's not going to stop. If you want to talk, I'm here. That's kind of the point of being live so much. Everyone in the affiliate and bass program is eligible to get some awesome free stuff and earn cash from referrals. It costs nothing to join. You can always go and chat with me live on Twitch. I've talked for a long time about being transparent about everything. It's live after all. No, it's like free labor. And if you make the sale, then we pay. That's it. That's the basis of it. Anyways, this company started getting roasted by all the other PC building companies out there saying, hey, we don't do anything like that with our people. Totally taking advantage of the situation. Good for them. Lots of big personalities out there talking a lot of crap, you know, and also these guys were working with a lot of big streamers. All of them are busting away. Like they've lost part, all their partnerships with everybody. Not looking good for this company. The CEO then released like a video apology that was a little bit more real. I'm not even going to show it because it doesn't, it's like null. They, he already showed what he's like he said live on air how he feels then the way they responded after all the heat also shows that and it's only when everyone stops work doing business with them and they start losing money that he sucks up his pride and wants to apologize not even going to show it here anyways guys thanks for watching and that's pretty much it see ya